Hey everybody. Okay, let's go ahead and start off with our review cards. We have suffix y. Okay, has several meanings. Full of, like having the quality of, somewhat. So if you're dirty, you're kind, you're full of dirt. Sleepy, you're somewhat tired. Suffix let means small or article worn on. So a starlet is a small star, a wristlet worn on your wrist. Suffix ly is like, how, or occurring. So sadly, quickly, daily. Suffix ing means happening now. Suffix s is plural, means more than one. Suffix er means more or one who. Okay, so if you're shorter, you're more short. If you're a baker, you're you're someone who bakes. Suffix est, est means the most. So you would be the most slow if you were the slowest. Less means without. Ed or d or t means already happened. Suffix ist, I -S -T, means one who. So like a cartoonist is one who makes cartoons. Suffix ish, I -S -H, means nationality. So if you're British, that means you are from Britain. Impish is to do mischievous things. And a childish means that you're acting like a child. Suffix n means made of, so if it's wooden, it is made of wood. Okay, echo after me. Concrete e. Box x. Balloon b. Cube u. Hose o. Goat g. Equal e. Fish f. Lion o. Whale w. Hook, uh, duck, k. tooth, ooh, hat, h. overalls, o, oh. pig, p. nest, n, dog, d, acorn, a, best, m, icicle, i, elephant, e, eh. sheep, e. Umbrella, a. Uh. Turtle, er. Shark, sh. Jar, j. Dime, i. Cat, k. Rabbit, er. Pent, t. Sun, s. Monkey, m. Mm. Unicorn, u. Chef, sh. Star, r. Kite, k. Butter, er. Octopus, ah. Doctor, er. Zebra, z. Apple, a. Ah. Inch, i. Feather, m. Thimble, th. Dollar, er. Wagon, w. Rose, z. Cake, A. Anchor, K. Bird, Er. Staple, Pool. Quilt, Qua. Yarn, Y. Cheese, Ch. Horse, Or. Bubble, Bull. Ring, Ng. Candle, Dull. Bugle, Gull. Bottle, tool. Nat, n. Ruffle, fool. Phone, f. Cry, i. Mm -hmm. Candy, e. Leaf, e. Bread, e. Steak, a. Not, n. Wreath, er. Mouse, ow. Soup, oo. Cow, ow. Bow, o. Rain, a. Hay, a. 
circle, s oil, oi, toy, oi, light, eye, patch, ch. Okay, here are your sight words. Come, said, could, something, some, there, into, of, they, don't, do, you, today, together, tomorrow, was, eight, are, full, from, for, where, one, push, to, the, should, there, what, bush, your, won't, would, have, want, were, who, been, trouble, says, does, bury, love, to, any, by, done, every, many, none, only, people, put, gone, guess, ocean, question, young, trouble. Oh, there's another trouble. I think we already have trouble. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So, Okay. Again, against, answer, enough, friend, America, animal, early, earth, Finally, government, heard, learn, several, usually. Okay, and that's our last one. So we didn't see the card that we we're learning today, and I'll add that later. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go into our lesson for today. So this is our spelling word. Sorry, my nose is itchy. Okay. So here's our spelling words for this week. Um, echo after me. We have drink, sky, try, pink, think, slam, and buy, game, home, hide, jump, fumble, thing, time. And these are, here we have EA words in these, year, teach, each, read, eat. The old man has a white dog with black spots and put the box in the corner of the room. Okay, so for these sentences, we don't test on the sentences, but I do want you to um, practice writing the sentences. It's always good to practice writing. Okay, so some of the things that I have seen, um, we have the I-N-K, ink, 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 okay, drink, so I-N-K here, I-N-K, so are those, let's see, trigraphs or, no, okay, so it just looks like we have um, I-N-K here, here, so there's some words with I and K in it. Uh, remember with uh, when Y is in a one syllable word, it has the I sound. So you code it with the dot and then the line over it. Sky, try, buy, and then this is slam. Our vowels followed by a consonant. We code it with a three, okay? The um, and vowel followed by the consonant, code it with a breed. So this is a short A. Now these words have the vowel consonant E rules. So remember the vowel consonant E 
Okay, so all of these vowels are long because of this E. And you do not say the E because they are silent. Okay, here's my vowel followed by a consonant, go to with a three, so j, um. I have a final stable syllable here, bull. Vowel followed by a consonant, code it with a three. Okay, here's an ing, 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 ing. Okay, if you watch the hunks and chunks video, we have ing, 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 ing. Here's a vowel consonant e rule, it means it's long. And then ea rule, so this is year, year, okay, e. So we say the e in year. And each, we say the E and teach, digraph CH. Same thing here, we have the E, each, and read, E. So these are all EA, long E rule, um, long E sounds, and eat. Okay, just because I cross out the A does not mean you just, you don't spell it with the A. This is just showing you how to code these words. Okay, so let's go ahead to our lesson. Spelling sound review, echo after me. When I open my hand up like this, you tell me the letters that make that sound. So number one, O, echo. Tell me the letters. I have L, final, L, L. Okay, and these are nice little cursive Ls like that. Um, number two, k, k, comma, C, final, digraph, C, K, comma, K, comma, K, E. Okay, all of those later letters make the k sound, okay, and these make the k sound in the final position of a word. Number three, U, U. Consonant E, comma, U. Remember, when I say U, that means it's the long sound. Long sounds for vowels say their names. Number four, Z. Z, comma, S. Number five, Ng. N, G. Number six, F, final, F, F. Number seven, ow. O, U. Says ow in the middle of a word or in the initial, initial or medial position of the word. And then O, W. Says ow in the final position of a word. Number eight, A. A consonant E, comma, A. Final digraph A Y. And then number nine, pull. That is a final stable syllable, P L E. Review words number 10, foil. F O I L. Number 11, bring. B R I N G. And number 12, ruffle. R-U-F-F-L-E. Number 13, animal, sight word. A-N-I-M-A-L. Number 14, America. In America, we capitalize. There is a reason why we don't capitalize all these other words, because there are certain words that you have to capitalize. So A-M-E-R-I-C-A. -E Number 15, early. E-A-R-L-Y. And your sentence for today is, the cook will teach us how to bake a cake. Capital T. Write in your very best handwriting. The cook will finger spaces between your words teach us 
how to bake a cake. How to bake a cake. Period. Okay. This is a statement type sentence because you're just they're just saying something to you. Okay, going into our um, lesson for today. Echo these words after me. Germ, ginger, gym. Okay, what sound do you hear in all of these words? The j sound, okay? Look at these words and see what is making that sound. So what is making the j sound? Germ, ginger, and gym. So that's right. So G is making the J sound. How many of you knew that the letter G could sound like the letter J? What does, when does G sound like a J? So the letter G usually sounds like a, the letter J when it is followed by the letters E, I, or Y. So when it's followed by an E, I, or Y, the G sounds like a J. Are all of these G's followed by the letters E, I, and Y? Yes, so that's right. This means that the, these G's will make a J sound, a J sound. When we see the letter G before the letters E, I, or Y, we will code the G with a dot to remind us that it sounds like a, a J. So we just simply put a dot over the G to remind us that it sounds like a J, a J. Okay, are there any other codings? Yes, for this one, E-R-R, -er, that's a combination. Er, J, erm. Okay, what about for this word? We have a vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, E-I-E-R-R, -er, right here, combination. So we divide this word between the two consonants. My vowel is followed by a Consonant, code it with a brief. This G is followed by an E. So I code it with a dot. Now we know that both of these G's are going to sound like J. And we say this word J, in, J, er, ginger. And then this one, um, we are going to code this with the dot above the G because it's followed by a Y. And then... This is going to have a dot with an, a breathe over it. Why do you think we're coding the Y like this? Because J M, it's making the short I sound, okay? So this Y is making the short I sound. It's not making the long I sound, short I. So when it makes the short I sound, we code it with a breathe and a dot under it, okay? So your picture card today would look like a giraffe and with the G with the dot over it. So it'd be giraffe J. Okay. We also have a rule card that we can follow. So down here, the G, when a G is before an E, I, or Y, it's going to sound like a J. So here's an E and there's a G and this is German, j -er -men, German. Here's an I, j -I -N, giant. And there's a Y after this G, so it's stingy, j stingy. Okay, so E R I Y, the G is going to make a um, j sound, and that is also called a soft sound for G. Okay. So when you hear me say what letters make the j sound, you're going to say J comma G. So going to your new sounds of words, number one is J. And when you hear the J, it is J comma G. Both of those letters make the J sound. Number two, large. 
O L A R G E because it's followed by an E. It makes the J sound. Number three, gentle. G E N T L E. And number four, page. P A G E. Make sure you practice reading and spelling these words and then write, um, write a sentence using these words. Okay, go into our worksheet. We are already coded the first word, so we have E R R is a combination. An E is after this G, so we put a dot, and we can say this word as germ. Here we have a digraph E A. S T R is a blend, and that is when we say str str is the blend. And is it going to make the long E, long A, or short E sound? Str M, no. Str aim or str eem, stream. Okay, we have a TCH. TCH is a trigraph. We learned this last week. We do not say the T, so we um, cross out the T. But this A is followed by a consonant, so we code it with a grieve, and you say this as hatch. Hatch. I G H I G H I I I. Okay, when you see the trigraph I G H, it says I N I T night. We have a vowel followed by a consonant, we code it with a breathe. And then this G is followed by an E. So we put a dot over it and we say this hinge, hinge. And I R R, I R R. Combination, digraph TH, third, third. Reading the paragraph, mom said that we could go to the fair on Sunday if we worked hard at school and did our chores at home. We did our homework, made good grades, and did our chores. We went to the fair on Sunday and ate popcorn, rode bumpy rides, and had a great time. When did we go to the fair? So we went to the fair on Sunday. This is the answer to question seven. Capitalize the S in Sunday because that's the proper name of the week. What did we eat? Ate popcorn. There we go, popcorn right there. Answer to question eight. We made good grades and got to go to the fair. So did they make good grades? Yes. Answer to question nine. Okay, always make sure you underline your answers because when you do your cold reads and when you come back to class, you're going to have to prove where you found those answers from. So while you have these papers, make sure you're able to prove where you found those answers and practice doing that. Okay, so on this side, same thing. So you're going to read these words, code them, read them, read the paragraph, answer the questions. All right, that's it for today. Have a great afternoon.